Well, howdy folks, welcome back to the whole wood shop. Uh, must admit, I've been on kind of a hiatus here for about a month. Uh, June was a really busy month. <clears throat> had a lot of family visiting. And uh, then I've had a busy social life, uh, which consists mostly of, of uh, doctors, dentists, barbers, bankers, uh, uh, you name it, uh, occasional funeral, and uh, doesn't leave much time uh, for me to get down here and uh, and uh, get anything done, and haven't felt too good last month, uh, but I'm feeling a lot better now, and uh, I have been doing some things. <clears throat> uh, this is a piece of wood, of uh, it's a maple burl made a number of projects out of this wood and uh you know they all turn out about the same they're 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 kind of nice uh they're uh, th they have some distinctive graining but it's it's pretty uh how would you say uh you know when i finish it it just turns kind of a yellower uh color and uh, uh maybe you know i'm, I'm thinking perhaps uh, this could be a, a little more distinctive. So uh, I've been kind of looking around and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to try. I've got some black stain and I just dabbed a little on the bottom here. I'm going to put this all over this this piece. And what I hope happens is uh, uh, where the uh, where the wood is, where the density of the wood varies, the stain will penetrate deeper than in, than in other parts. And... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, paint this all over this and probably leave it set till tomorrow and then I'll go and I'm going to try and sand it off. I hope I don't have to use the uh, turning tools because then I'll have to do a lot more sand than I think. So I'm just going to try and sand it off and see, and see what works. So uh, this, is, this is kind of an experiment. I don't know... Uh, if I, I don't I don't think I'll ruin this thing, uh, but I think it'll have a different look than than, uh, than what you might expect from what we've seen in the past. So we'll mount this up in the uh, in the four jaw chuck. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. Uh, would have been better if I could have got the camera a little further over and shot it from this way, but uh, I'm a little too lazy to move the camera. And, uh, you know, the camera crew's got the day off again, which is <clears throat> pretty par for the course around here. Uh, so, as, as you might expect, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, the only show in town today. Uh, so hopefully the, the, the crew will be back in uh, starting tomorrow. So, uh, I've got this open here, and uh, I, I probably, I probably, uh, I probably have a need to, you know, perhaps a uh, a uh, couple of ounces, maybe a tablespoon of this stuff or so, and and unfortunately, I I had to buy this whole thing, so uh, we're 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 gonna, we're gonna have a lot of black stains. I think we'll try and run this thing. I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, for sure. It's going to take some effort to, to get it off here, but, but uh, well, that's what we do here. You know, we, we uh, carve wood up, and, and uh, I guess the worst that can happen is we'll end up with a black bowl. And uh, I haven't, haven't done one of those before, but I don't, I don't guess that it's going to be anything too, too serious if that's what happens. So... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, 
Now, so far, this is actually pretty easy. I don't know. Uh, we haven't, haven't actually done any of the work yet. The bark that was on here came off, so what we have is just the, the wood underneath, which uh, isn't too bad. Yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll end up with a black bowl. But what I'm hoping to do is to sand this down pretty good. Hopefully I don't have to use the turning tools on it again because I, I have it sanded up now so it's nice and smooth. If I use the turning tools, we're going to have some, some uh, uh, differences in, in the... There we go. Uh, all you can see is the inside, but the outside looks just about as black as the inside, so, so, uh, so we're going to let that dry good. I think what we'll do is leave it till tomorrow. That way it should be good and dry and the, and the stain should penetrate in there. And as I'm looking at it now, I think, I think maybe it's going to work out all right as it's drying. Uh, I can see a little bit of the uh, wood, lighter wood through it where it didn't penetrate as much and I'm hoping that we'll get some some kind of nice patterns in there. So uh, I can see it's going to be a messy job. I got the black all over my fingers now and uh, uh, most likely we'll have some overspray here. Yeah, it looks like it. Huh. Wow. Well, we'll try and alleviate that. So anyway, <clears throat> the next step uh, will be to get it dry and then I, I, I'm going to try and come back tomorrow and, and uh, uh, show the uh, uh, sanding and, and, see, and see what we come up with. So uh, most of life's an experiment anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.